Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Yash and today I will show you how to create this crazy looking Pinterest style collection view. So that's the end result and uh, one more thing we will be using one external Swift file and that file is created by this guys over at raywindelich.com so that we don't have to do all that complex math and all that stuff. So uh, the link to his uh, to their website will be in the description and you will also get the file from my website like you you can just basically download the project and copy the file from that project so let's move on so first of all uh, let's create a basic collection view without the file and I'll show you what exactly happens so first uh, I'll drag and drop this bunch of stuff this are wallpapers which I keep them and this are some landscape wallpapers just drag and drop and that's it so we need one more which is on my desktop and I'll just drag and drop it here okay cool so let's hop over to main.storyboard and click iPhone X because why not and it becomes a bit slow but it's fun designing over here so first we'll click here and go to editor and say embed in navigation controller here uh, click here and say prefer larger titles and for title font uh, so make sure you do stuff here under large title text attribute so here you will say system no custom this will be avenir next and type will be bold size will be let's do 40 and uh, title color should be white and no shadow and bar tint will be blue which looks amazing yep and here we will just add title let's say photo stream boom and white looks good so first we will drag and drop an image view which will go all the way to the bottom and now we will give constraints so 0 0 0 0 0 from top left right and bottom and we will drag and drop a blur view so just click on blur view and drag on the image view make sure you drag on top so center what a uh, whole shift and select center vertically center horizontally equal with equal height add constraint and now press command option equal so that it fills up now we need collection view so collection view drag and drop here and this will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and constraint to margins and add for constraints so first let's get rid of this background color we don't like it and i'll remove this i'll increase the cell size and drag and drop image view make sure you place it on top corner so that it fills up so zero from top, zero from left, right and bottom and add full constraints. Uh, now let's create a collection view class file so that we can do all this stuff like in a flow. So Coca touch class, it will be a subclass of UI collection view cell and just add custom in front of it and hit enter and create. So I'll drag and drop below view controller, go back to main.storyboard and first assign our collection view cell with the file so it will be custom collection view cell go back here give it a reuse identifier let's say custom cell and we need to set some collection view properties so make sure you select collection view here go back to size inspector yep and here uh, don't change any of this stuff just go to section and set and change to phi five 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 like all five top bottom left right and uh, uh, we just need to do the connections so first we will connect our collection view so under view dot controller view controller dot swift file and this will be collection view and now we need to connect our image view with the custom class file and make sure uh, yeah we are getting automatic luckily i never get it so image view and hit enter and we are good to go so let's hop over to our view controller and start coding 
So first, uh, we will get rid of this because we never use it and get rid of this as well. Too much green. And here we will just assign the data source. So collection view dot data source is equal to self. And now we will create an extension here. So extension view controller collection view data source and open brackets. And there are two main functions to confirm to the protocol and first is number of sections number of items in section and this will return okay we need to create a data model so let data model equal to one two three four five six seven and eight these are basically my image num uh, names so it becomes easier to grab them that's yeah simpler so here i will just return data model dot count and now we need one more method which is cell for item at index path and let's add some spaces and here I will say let's cell okay if if let's cell equal to collection view dot tq reusable identifier with reuse identifier and this will be custom and cell and index path will be index path and First, we will assign cell dot image view. Okay, <laughs> image view. Okay, what's the matter? Okay, we need to downcast it and we messed up. So get rid of this. We will say as custom collection view cell open brackets and here we can assign image to our image view dot image is equal to UI image and this will be named and string so first we will uh, fetch the number from the data model and here index path dot row and go out of the brackets and just add jpg and now we can say cell dot clips to bounds is equal to true and we need corner radius as well so cell dot layer dot corner radius is equal to I like 15 you can do whatever you like and I will just return the cell here and if this doesn't work we will return a ui collection view cell that's it so let's run this application and see how it looks so the application is loading this is my previous app and 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 it's loaded and okay first we need to get rid of the white wallpaper and oh this is my previous app i don't know okay here uh, first, we need to fix the white wallpaper and the images don't look good as well. So we need to do a packed fill. So let's do that. So stop the application and first let's do the packed fill thing. So cell dot image view dot and content mode equal to dot a packed fill and let's assign image to our image view in the background. So I got a one go here, I guess. I don't know. He's the guy who drew that. So I'll just select the image view and, and go here and say art image. So yeah, what I'm talking about is this image. I guess one go through this, whatever. Yeah. So let's run the application and see how it looks now. And it looks good, but uh, we need that Pinterest feeling. So, and I don't like the scroll indicator. We'll remove that as well. So first we need to add, uh, I need to add this file. And I will be giving, uh, I will be putting my project on my website. So you can just get it from my project file and I'll just paste it and make sure the options are selected as is and hit finish. And now let's do the magic. So go back to main.storyboard, click on collection view, go to attribute inspector and under layout select custom and here we will say Pinterest layout and hit enter. Now hop over to a view controller and here our extension will confirm to one more protocol which comes from here. So it's Pinterest layout delegate and here they have created one function. I will be explaining this whole thing in some future video but uh, for now this 
uh, delegate file this class is out of the scope I'll just show you how to use it so yeah uh, let's hop back to view controller and here we will say Pinterest Pinterest layout delegate and here it will prompt you with the error and just select and say fix I'll just copy this thing cut this thing and paste it over here under this and control L so that it okay here we will calculate height of the image so we will say let image equal to UI image open brackets and named sub named okay <laughs> I messed up and name string and here we will say uh, data model okay we need to do string interpolation and data model open close brackets and here index path dot row dot jpeg jpg and now we need to calculate height so let height equal to image dot size dot height I guess we will need to do if let so if let then we will return height and here we will return if nothing works we will return 0, 0.0 and we are done with this part and one more thing we need to do under view did load is if uh, we need to assign delegate so if layout and I forgot let so if let layout is equal to collection view dot collection view layout and here it is as downcasted as Pinterest layout not delegate make sure delegate is out of it and here we will assign our delegate so layer dot delegate is equal to self and we are good to go so let's run it and see how it looks uh, we need to get rid of that scroll indicator I hate it they're ugly as f okay yeah I did not say that word okay uh, so here we got the images but they are like pretty long and they're like um, the wallpapers are Mac wallpapers, so high resolution. So let's fix this and get rid of the scroll indicator. So first of all, scroll indicator, collection view dot scroll. Okay, um, vertical scroll indicator false. And uh, so under height, you can just divide it by 4.0. I find I found out that 4.0 is a sweet spot. And uh, one more thing is that that like if you scroll down uh, this images the last image is pretty uneven so I just changed the order of my images so I'll just swap three with eight and let's run the application for one last time and boom here we have it so uh, you can just pull data from internet or API or something and you can just feed into this collection view and it will look amazing So if you have any questions, you can post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos until next time